Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we will be making this little snowman couple. Everything you see here will be in the video. We'll be starting with the snowman. So we'll make the arms first and then we'll move on to the feet, work our way up, stuffing, adding the arms, adding the eyes before we close the head up. We will have to embroider the face and attach the nose. But other than that, it's basically no sew. The scarf will be the first part we make. And then once we're done that, I will have a little screenshot with timestamps so you can move on to whichever parts you want. The hat, the vest, the little cape, or the toque. I'll be using a number four medium weight yarn and a 4.25 millimeter hook. And I'm using 12 millimeter eyes, but I would suggest 14 millimeter eyes. And this is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I will also be providing a drop down at the top of the screen for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Um, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. Okay, we're going to do the arms first, and you can begin any way you prefer, as long as your row one and my row one are the same. What I like to do is make a knot with the loop on the end, like you're going to make a chain. Insert the hook. Grab the yarn chain one and that does not count as a stitch that just attaches the yarn to the loop and for row one we're going to do six single crochets into the loop going over top of the tail so one two three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're gonna do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two, increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten increase eleven and twelve rows three and four are just going to be twelve single crochets all the way around and i'm going to do those consecutively so two rows of twelve is twenty four and then i just flip my marker when i hit my first set of twelve so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, and I'm going to flip my marker but keep on counting, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row five, we are going to do what I call a double crochet cluster of four for the thumb. And then we're going to do 11 more single crochets around for a total of 12. So to do your double crochet cluster, you're going to yarn over, go into that next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, grab your yarn again, and go through the first two loops, leaving two loops on your hook. That's once. You're going to do it Another time, yarn over into that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up, grab your yarn again, and go through the first two loops on the hook, leaving three loops on your hook. That's twice. So another time, yarn over into that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, grab your yarn again, and go through those first two loops, leaving four loops on your hook, that's three times, and we have one more time for four. Yarn over into that same stitch. Grab your yarn and pull up. Grab your yarn again and pull through the first two loops. Now you have five loops on your hook. And four, you did four times, so now you're going to grab your yarn, pull through all five of those loops. And there's your little cluster or puff. And now we have 11 more single crochets to do, and I'm going to count this as 1 for a total of 12. And our first single crochet is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Row six, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of eight. So one, and a decrease for two, three, and a decrease for four, five, and a decrease for six. seven, and a decrease for eight. Rows seven to fifteen are just going to be eight single crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do those consecutively. And that's nine rows of eight single crochets. Nine times eight is seventy-two. So I'm going to count to 72 and then just flip my marker every time I reach a set of 8. So 1, 2, 3, whoopsie, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, and then flip my marker and keep on counting. Nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, flipping my marker, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, flipping my marker, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, flipping my marker, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, flipping my marker, 57, 58, 59, 60, oops, 61, 62, 63, 64, this should be our last row, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. All right, I'm going to take my stitch marker out now and we're going to put a little bit of stuffing in there. So what I like to do is take however much stuffing I think I'm going to need for both arms. I split it in half and I put one to the side so our arms kind of stay similar size. And then I take about three quarters and I'm going to stuff that down into the um, hand part of the arm. And it's a little tight, so if you have scissors, I learned a great trick from one of my viewers. If you get your scissors in there, you can pop that right down there fairly easily. So you want that a little bit on the firm side. And then you're going to put, I might actually split that in half even. You're going to put a little bit down into the arm. You don't want that to be too firm because you want um, not to stick straight out. So I think that's good. So I'm just going to take a little bit off of here. So I remember I did that for my second arm. I'm going to put the hook back in. And 
now we want to put three single crochets across going through both the front and the back sides of this arm so you're going to go in the next stitch on the front of the arm and then you're going to go in this last stitch on the back of the arm making sure you're under both sides of the v do a single crochet and you're going to do that two more times so two single crochets through both sides and three single crochets through both sides and then you can tie that off and leave a little bit of a tail you're not sewing it on but we I do do something with these ends at the very end to kind of secure your arm in a little bit better so if you are just finishing your first arm, I will put a screenshot over in the next frame with a timestamp so you can go back and do your second arm. And if you are done both of your arms, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. All right, we're gonna be starting on the legs now. But before we start, I'm gonna be doing mine in white because I wasn't a big fan of the black boots, but if you want to put little black boots for feet, um, you start in black, and then I will tell you when we get to the row where you want to change your color back to white. Okay, so we're going to begin just like last time. You do however you like to start, and I'll be starting with the knot with the loop on the end. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remembering if you're doing it this way, that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for row one, you're going to do six single crochets into the loop. And remember to go over your tail. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, you're gonna do six increases. So two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two increase three and four increase five and six increase seven and eight increase nine and ten increase eleven and twelve and don't be like me, I forgot to pull my tail. I'm going to do that now, just to close up that little hole that might be left when you started. Row three, you're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, then you're going to increase, two, and three. And just repeat that all the way around. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, Increase, 14 and 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18. Row four, you're gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, and an increase, three and four, and repeat that all the way around. Five, six, 
6, increase 7 and 8. 9, 10, increase 11 and 12. 13, 14, increase 15 and 16. 17, 18, increase 19 and 20. Our last one, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Rows five and six are going to be 24 single crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do those consecutively. Two rows of 24 is 48 stitches, and I'm just going to flip my marker when I hit 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker and keep on counting, 25, 20, eh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Row seven, we're gonna do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Row 8, we're just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. If you chose to start in black for a boot, this is going to be your last row of black. So when you get to the last stitch in this row, you're going to not want to finish that last decrease so that you can change your color. So for row nine, you're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one decrease for two three, decrease for four, five, decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, decrease for ten, eleven, and your last decrease for 12, if you're changing color, you're going to go in and you're going to start your decrease. You're going to leave those three loops on your hook. And then you're going to grab your new color. You're going to tie that on nice and tight down by the hook two or three times. And then when you have that tied, you're going to, gra you're going to cut off your old color, so probably black. You're going to grab your new color and you're going to pull that through to finish off that stitch. And if you're not changing color, you just do that decrease like a normal decrease. Rows 10 to 15, you're going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively again. That's six rows. So six times 12 is 72. So I'm going to go to 72 and flip my marker every time I hit a row of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Flipping my marker and keep on counting. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, oopsie, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 
48, flipping my marker, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. Now, if this is your first leg, you are going to slip stitch into the next stitch, tie that off, and cut it, leaving a little bit of a tail to sew the legs. Um, sometimes there's a hole left when you join the legs. And if you are on your second leg, don't cut this string because we're gonna use that to join the legs. So I will put a timestamp in the next frame so that you can go back and do your second leg. And if you're already done your second leg, just keep on watching and we will go on to the next part. Okay, row 16, we're gonna be joining the legs. So you should have your second leg with a working yarn still attached and we're gonna be joining it to your first leg that you tied off, going around the first leg, and then around the second leg. And we're gonna begin by going into this first stitch where you tied off. So let's just do that right now. And do one single crochet. And for row 16, it's gonna be 12 single crochets around your first leg, 12 single crochets around your second leg. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And don't worry if it looks like you should have another stitch there as long as you've got your 12 on here because that's what this tail is for to sew up that little hole that's left behind. Now you're gonna go into your second leg, find your last stitch, and you're gonna go in the next stitch beside it. Actually, I want that out of my way, I think. And we're going to do 12 single crochets around the second leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now this next row is gonna be your most important row as far as making sure you have the right amount of stitches. So get your stitch marker in there. And row 17 is gonna be 24 single crochets all the way around. And if for some reason you don't have 24, you're just going to make an extra stitch or a decrease at the very end to get 24. So starting in your next stitch, uh, 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, Twenty-three and twenty-four. And if you're not in the right spot at your stitch marker, adjust these stitches so you have twenty-four. This is the back. You won't. Nobody will know but you. Row eighteen. You're going to be doing three single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of thirty. So one, two three and an increase oh my yarn four and five six seven eight and an increase nine and ten eleven twelve 13 and an increase 14 and 15 16 17 18 and an increase 19 and 20 21 22 23 and an increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 19, you're going to be doing four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifth, whoops, fifteen, sixteen, and an increase, seventeen and eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. And let's just sew these legs together now, or this hole where the legs joined right here. So grab your darning needle and 
all you're going to do inside or outside, whichever way you want to do it, is you're just going to be going back and forth on these few little stitches here. Just to close that hole. I usually do it on the inside, but I'm trying, trying the outside this time. So just a couple of times back and forth. You may have to grab another stitch somewhere. Like right here, there could be a hole. So I might just grab there and then go back. I am going to tie it on the inside though. So just double check that you got that hole nice and clean. Can't see your finger anymore if you put that um, your finger against it. Then you're just gonna pick a stitch to tie it on. And you'll tie that once or twice. I think you're gonna do two times. And then you can either cut this or tuck it down inside the leg. And while I got a second to talk here, don't forget, I don't stuff mine till I get closer to the end because I need the space for my camera view. But if you need to or want to, you can start stuffing as you go. Especially if you have a hard time stuffing when it gets to about 18 stitches at the neck, you'll want to stuff before you get too many decreases going. Okay, get our hook back in there. Rows 20 to 25 are just going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. Uh, and I'm going to use my row counter and that will be six rows of 36. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 20. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, so that was row 21. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 22. And another row of 36 single crochets. One, oopsie, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 23. Okay, another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, that was row twenty-four, one more row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That was our 25th row. All right, row 26, we're gonna do four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. 
row 27, we're going to be doing three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease for twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23 and a decrease for 24. Row 28 is just going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 29 is going to be two single crochets one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. All right, our next row is going to be the arms. So if you want to put any stuffing in before we get to that part, now is when you'll want to do that. All right. If you want to just double check that your arms are going to be in the right spot and nice and even, you just want to flat, fold your body flat and you're going to have a look at the stitches and you're going to want one stitch on the side and one stitch on the front and one stitch on the back and those are your arms. And I'm just going to put a little piece of string there 
and that will be the first stitch of your first arm. So far, I've only done this wrong once. Every other time, my stitches are right. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. That's only if for some reason you're not in the exact same spot that I am. So we should have five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, which brings us to our first arm stitch. So grab your arm and this is the back, the side that's facing us right now. And we want to have the thumb and the um, string facing the front. And you're going to go in that first stitch of the arm. And the first stitch of the body. And you're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to do three of them. So that's one through the arm, through the next stitch of the body, that's two, and one more through the arm, and the next stitch of the body. And make sure you're going in the next stitch because it's really easy to go in the same stitch because you're stretching those stitches so much. Now you're going to do six single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab your other arm. And make sure, like before, your thumb and your string is facing the front of your body. And you're going to go through the first stitch of the arm, the next stitch of the body, three times. So one, through the arm and the body, two, and through the arm and the body, three. And then you should have one stitch left, unless you had to adjust your arms so they were in the right spot. Okay, so for row 31 now, <clears throat> you're going to do two single crochets one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, ten, increase, eleven, and twelve. And make sure these strings for your arms are staying on the outside. That's where we'll want them for later. Thirteen, fourteen, increase, fifteen, and sixteen. Seventeen, 18, increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. Row 32 is going to be three single crochets one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five. Six, 
six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and an increase, nineteen and twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and an increase, twenty-four and twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 33, we're gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row 34, we're gonna do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, Five and an increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, 19, and an increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35. 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and an increase, 41 and 42. Rows 35 to 41 is going to be 42 single crochets. And I'm going to use my stitch marker again. So that's seven rows of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oopsie, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 35. So another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 36. 
and another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, whoopsie, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. That was row 37. And another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, this yarn is horrible, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. And that was row 38. And another row of 42 single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And that was row 39. And another row of 49 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. That was row forty. And this should be our last row of forty-two single crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
25, 26, 27, 28, 42. So there was our seven rows of 42 and we just finished row 41. All right, let's add some eyes now before we get too far. And what you want to do is have your head about as flat as you can get it, centered using the arms and the legs. And you want to go about three rows down from where we just left off. Um, and we're going to be going under the row. So let's go one, two, three. So that's the row that we want to put our eyes in. And just kind of figure out where your center is. And I like to go in between a stitch. So I have a hole on each side. So that's my middle stitch, and I've got a hole on each side of it, because we're going to use those holes to count our eyes. So grab your eye, and I'm using 12 millimeter, but I recommend 14 millimeter. And you're just going to count four holes over. So the one right beside where your needle is, one, two, three, and then into that fourth hole. And do the exact same thing on the other side. So find that first hole on, beside your stitch. One, two, three, and then in that fourth hole. And then always have a little double check. And I actually think mine are over one too far, maybe. Um, so I'm going to move both my eyes one over. the same direction and of course you can put your eyes anywhere you want but this is where I found I like to have mine and if you are happy with it let's put the backs on that one clicked really good I haven't heard that noise in a while so did that one hmm. Now, if you want, you can add some stuffing to your head. I'm still going to wait a little bit until um, I get a little more closed, just because it's easier for me. And I'm going to grab a new little piece of yarn because my stitch marker is running out. And we are ready to continue on with our rows. So for row 42, we are going to do five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease, four, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, ten, eleven, and a decrease, for 12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, and a decrease for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. 30, yeah, 31, 32, sorry, I can't twist my arm there, 33, 34, 35, 36, 35, and a decrease for 36. Row 43, we're going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 44, we're going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, 10, 11, and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. 
All right, let's get whatever stuffing we need in here right now. I'm going to stuff mine um, about to just around above the eyes somewhere. So it leaves us some working room up top. And I'm going to do most of that off camera. What you want to do is make sure your legs are kind of firm. Um, your tummy can be kind of squishy. And then your head a little more on the firmer side as well. All right, so your little snowman should look kind of like this. Firm feet and legs, a bit of a squishy tummy, and then enough stuffing that you can still work around the top of the head. Okay, let's get our hook back in and we will finish our last three rows. So for row 45, we're gonna do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, Oops, 10, 11, and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Row 46, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, and a decrease for two, Three, and a decrease for four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, and a decrease for 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. Okay, I am gonna add all the stuffing just about that I want in here now. Um, I'm making it pretty firm and as I stuff I'm going to be kind of pushing the sides out a bit just so he's got a little bit bigger head but be careful that you're not stretching your stitches too much as you um, are playing around with it. And just also keep double checking that you're not like making a lopsided shape because you do want it to be a nice little circle. So see, I need a little bit more down to the sides here. Um, that might be 
be okay. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to try and stick a tiny bit in after I got my last row done here and see what happens. Okay. So for row 47, we are going to do six decreases. Okay, so <laughs> everything's in the way here. One decrease. Two decreases. Sorry, my hands are everywhere. Three decreases. Four decreases. Five decreases. And six decreases. I should take that out of my way here. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. And actually, I don't think I need any more stuffy in there. Oop. All right, so grab your darning needle. Um, and we'll close that top up. And I'm just going to be weaving in and out of the top loops of the last row. And then you're just going to pull that tight and then give it a little tie somewhere nice and close. And then stick, stick that down in the center and out the back somewhere. We might as well put these little arms away now here. So what you're going to do is grab one of your tails. Thread that on. And you're going to come down right in the last stitch that you put the arm in. So I'm going to come in right here and out the back, around the neck somewhere in the center. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other arm. So right where your last stitch was, but you might want to just double check that you're in the same row. And then come out in the same spot you came out with your other arm string. You're going to make one tie and keep um, track of which side is which side and I do that by wrapping around the neck so you're going to turn it around and now you're going to use these strings to pull these little knots and the arms in so see if you pull this one it kind of tucks in nice and pull the other one 
And then just pull them until you're happy with where they are. So I always like mine coming forward a little bit. And then you're gonna flip it over and tie that nice and tight and secure. Then re-thread your needle and we'll hide those ends down through the body somewhere. Boy, do I ever miss my nails when I need to poke that string through. All right, then just hide that out. Give it a slight tug and trim those ends. Okay, let's get a little carrot nose going. So you're going to need a little bit of a tail because we're just going to tack this on his face. And then you're going to make your knot with the loop on the end because we're going to be making a chain. And you're going to chain four. So insert your hook and chain four. One, two, three, four. Now, in the second chain from the hook, so not the one on the hook, not this first one, but in this second one right here, you're going to slip stitch. You're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. And then you're going to do a single crochet in the next and last stitch. Then you're just going to tie that off. All right. Now we're going to attach his nose. And what I like to do is this messy knot on the um, side that you started. I like to make that the bottom. So I'm going to grab my other tail, consider that the top, get that on my darning needle. Whoop. And what I want to do is come in the same row that the eyes were attached. So just find the center row here where your eye would have went in and you want to be in about the center, which is about right here for me. And I'm going to go into one side and out about one row down and over. We're going to be tying it here and attaching the bottom here. So now thread your other end and I'm going to go two rows down. So one, two, and then I'm going to come back up where I went out with my other end. And when I pull this one in, I want to try and get this knot down underneath in the stitches so you don't see it. It's a bit of a struggle. Be careful not to stretch everything more than you need to. That is a big knot here I got. Push it in maybe, there we go. Just so it's kind of hidden and out of the way. Now you're just gonna tie this nice and tight. And then just thread it out the back of the head. Probably shouldn't be risking doing two at once here. Come on, get in there. There we go. So down in that same hole and out the back. And 
and I just make sure I give mine a little bit of a tug before I cut it off just to make sure I have as much pulled as I want. And you may have to fix the little the little hole where you went in. So I just kind of move my stitches a bit there. All right, let's give them a bit of a face now. And when I did my first one, I did the mouth and then later on added eyebrows. But we are going to do this all at the same time here with one chunk of thread. So I'm just going to kind of mark off where I want my mouth. And I'm going to go two rows down from where I started my nose or ended my nose. So one, two. So I want my mouth to be somewhere in that row. I'm going to choose to have the beginning of his mouth just under his eye. So we want to match that on the other side. So about there. And then for his eyebrows, you're going to go about one row above where the end of his eye. And just a little bit over. Do the same thing on this side. So I'm one row above and just like a hair off from center, the center of his eye. And then deciding how long you want your eyebrows. I'm just gonna go down one row and over because I wanted to have little short eyebrows. And then the same thing on the other side, one and over. This one might have to move. I'm going two over here. Just how my stitches ended up. All right. And remember, if you're doing it the way I'm showing you, this is more just for a straight across mouth. If you're, you want more of a, a smile or a V, you might want to do the eyebrows separate from the mouth. Because I'm going to be starting up here. Just anywhere between the eyebrows. I'm going to come up my first pin. Leave enough of a tail here to tie later. Then I'm going to go down where my end of my eyebrow is. And I'm going to come out where I want to start my mouth. Then I'm going to come over to the other pin where I want the other corner of my mouth to be. And I'm going to come up the back side of the eyebrow hole. And then back in the inside of the eyebrow and out where I started. And there we go. Got our whole little bit of face there in one piece of thread. And you're just going to tie that. And get that threaded back in. Oh, I grabbed this one. Let's see how that works. Not bad. Then you're just going to go in that same hole where you started and come out the back somewhere. Careful not to pull too tight because you don't want your eyebrows to sink into the face. And before, you're, before you commit to cutting, just double check that you've pulled out enough. If you need to fix your little hole. And then give it a cut. I might just jam that in here. Hide right, that little black piece if you need to. And if you want to give some little cheeks, just grab some pink or whatever color you choose. And now I'm going to do the same thing I kind of did up here, but I'm going to start under here. 
under the nose and I'm going to come and make his little cheek over here. I'm one row up and one stitch over from the mouth. Leave enough to put inside. And I'm going to go around here twice. I probably should be using a smaller needle, but this is what's happening. I'm not pulling that very hard because I want it to puff out a bit. And then you're just going to match the same stitch on the other side. So one row up, one row over. And then just go around as many times as you want, matching the other side. And when you're finished, you're just going to come back out where you started. And then again, tie that. This time do it very loose so you're not pulling your cheeks. So a loose one and then slowly tighter. And then when you have it secure enough, you'll just put that back and through. Where'd that come from? And then just lightly make sure you have that knot pulled through. Fix the hole if you need to. You may need to pull your cheeks out a bit. This one I got the top a little loose and the bottom a little tight. So I want to make those a little more even. There. And then cut that off in the back. Remembering not to pull it too tight. You can always tuck that in. There we go. And then if we don't want to give them some little buttons, I'm going to mark where I want mine first. So I'm going to just kind of mark the middle somewhere in the center and then just go up a row or two or three, I think, and then down a, a row or two. And I think I went three. And you're just going to grab your black or whatever color you want to use for buttons. And I'm just going to come somewhere on the side. Um, am I going around there? Maybe one more over. I'm going to start on the bottom. And I'm just going to go around a stitch like we did the um, cheeks leaving a little bit on the end. And then you're just gonna go around two or three times around a single stitch. Try and keep them centered. I didn't do great on the one I did. And you're gonna go up and mm, I'm kind of offside I hear a bit, I think. I hope not, but. And just go around that stitch. And then the next one. Definitely one crooked. And then on your last one, you're going to come back out where you started. Then you'll give that a tie. Don't pull too tight. And then those will get threaded back down inside and out. And 
to be gentle when you pull that just so you don't tighten your buttons up too much. I did pull this one a little bit. So I'm just going to pull that up a bit. And here you have your little snowman's body. I haven't quite decided how I am doing the rest of the video yet. Since doing all the other pieces is pretty much going to double at least the length of this video. But if I decide to keep everything as one video, what I'm going to try and do is the scarf will be next. And then I'm going to try and do time stamps. So if you're doing the top hat and the vest, you can hop to that. And if you're doing the little cape and the toque, you can hop to that part. All right, now we're going to be making the scarf and we're going to be chaining. So you want to leave a little bit of a tail to weave in at the end and then make your knot with the loop on the end. And I'm going to be making mine 50 half double crochets long. Now you can make yours any length you want. Just add an extra chain to the end for the turn. So I'll be chaining 51. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and then our one extra chain for when we turn. So once you have your length, you're going to go in your second chain from the hook, so not the one on the loop, not this first one, but this second one right here. And whatever you chained, you're going to half double crochet back down to the end. So I did 50, so I am going to do 50 half double crochets across my chain. And make sure you don't twist it as you go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, whoops, I went under both, nope, I didn't, 20, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. And then you're just going to tie off that end, leaving a bit of a tail so that you can weave it in. So then you're going to grab your darning needle. I'm going to look for my back side and my front side, and I'm going to call this my back side. And then I'm just going to come in and catch these stitches. Probably about six or seven or so. And then when you pull your end through, you want to bring that knot um, in, but you don't want to lose your point on your scarf or your stretch. So just keep it nice and loose and then go back and forth a couple of times. Guess I'm going three times. Whoops. And then do that same thing for the other tail. Make sure you're on the same side you did the other one on. that one off and 
All right, now we are gonna start the top hat. Um, and again, you can start any way you prefer, as long as row one is the same. I'll be doing my knot with the loop on the end. So I'll grab my yarn, pull it through, chain one. Remembering that doesn't count as a stitch. That is just to attach your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we're going to do six single crochets into the loop. Going over the tail. One. Two. Three. four, five, and six. Pull your tail to close that hole. And grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, you're gonna do six increases. So that's two single crochets all the way around for a total of 12. So increase, one and two, increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and 10, and increase 11 and 12. Row three, you're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three, four, Increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen, 16, increase, 17, and 18. My angle is off here. Whoop. Row four, you are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, and an increase, three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12. 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. Row five, you're gonna do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, increase, 
four and five. Six, seven, eight, increase, nine and 10. 11, 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30. Row six, you're going to do four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, increase, five and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, increase, seventeen and eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, increase, 35 and 36. Row seven, we're gonna do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Increase 13 and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, increase 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, increase, 34 and 35. 36, 
37, 38, 39, 40, increase, 41, and 42. For the next row, we are going to be going in the back loops. So usually we will go underneath both sides of this V. To go in the back loop, we are going to go down in between the V and out the back. So for row 8, in the back loops, we are going to do 42 single crochets. So down into that V and out the back. One, two, three, four, five, and you should start seeing a little line right here, and that is going to make your hat start to go down the other way. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. All right, now we're going to go back the normal way under both Bs. For rows 9 to 13, just 42 single crochets all the way around, and that's five rows. And I'm going to grab my row counter, and let's start row number 9, 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row nine. Next row, another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, whoopsie, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 42. So that was row 10. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 11. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. That was row 12. And we're going to 13, so we have one more row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 13. And now we're going to start on the brim. So, like we did before in the back loops, this time we're going to go in the front loops. So, this time we're going to come and grab the very front side of the V and then go up through the middle and do our single crochets. So, for row 14, in the front loops, you're going to do six single crochets one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 48. So remember, go in that front loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then your increase seven and eight. And if you're doing it properly, there will be a line kind of forming on the inside of your hat. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, increase, 31 and 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, increase, 39 and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and increase, 47 and 48. Row 15, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. I might make some mistakes because um, not only am I switching it up, we're going to do the increases first so that our brim is a little more rounder instead of um, like octagonal. And I'm also going by nines, which I don't usually like to go much past sevens. Okay, so for row 15... We're going to do an increase and then seven single crochets. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 54. And we're back going normal under both sides of the V. So increase one and two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and again, ten increase for ten and eleven. Sorry, my brain is working backwards. Um, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18. Again, increase 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Again, increase 28, 29, 30, 31, oops, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Again, increase. 37 and 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Again, increase 46 and 47. 48, 49, 50, whoops, 50, yeah, 50, 51, 52, 53, oh, and 54, yay, first try. Okay, in row 16, this will be our last row, unless you guys want to take it further and make the brim wider. Um, row 16 will be eight single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 60. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and an increase, nineteen and twenty. Twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and an increase, 39 and 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, increase, 49 and 50, and this should be our last set, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, increase, 59, and 60. And then I'm just, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a couple slip stitches down, um, two or three, just to kind of get rid of that uneven ridge. So that's one, two, and then I'm going to tie off around the third one. It doesn't totally get rid of that little step, but it kind of helps out a bit. And then you're going to cut that off, leaving some tail to weave in. If you did want to make the brim um, larger, you'll just keep going in the same repeat pattern. So we just did eight single crochets and an increase. You'll do nine single crochets and an increase, ten single crochets and an increase, and so on and so on. So let's get this little end down and in. And I'm going to bring mine past the brim and do it on the inside of the hat. And I go underneath that little ridge I made. And then just find whatever row of stitchings you want to go in. I'm going to go up a couple rows. And then just weave it in. Actually, I'm going to weave it in up and down. The rows seem like they go better this way for some reason. And depending if you're going to sew this on or leave it um, free to, and removable, will probably depend how much you want to, how many times you weave it around. If you're sewing it on, you don't even really need to. And then if it is going to be played with or removable, you'll want to put it on a few extra back and forth. That could have been neater, but... Oh, that really could have been neater. Okay, trim that off. I'm going to get rid of my stitch marker. And we'll make a little band for that. 
Okay, so now we're gonna make the little um, band that goes around the hat and we're gonna be chaining. Leave yourself a little bit of a tail. You might need it at the end or weave it in. And we are gonna be doing our knot with a loop on the end. Because our hat is 42 single crochets around, I'm going to chain 42 single crochets and then one extra chain for the turnaround chain. So 42 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and then one extra for the turnaround. Now in that second chain from the hook, so not the one around your hook, not this first one, but this one down here, we're going to do 42 single crochets all the way back down and make sure you're not twisting your chain as you go. So second chain from the hook, 42 single crochets, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, whoopsie, nine, I'm trying to keep that out of the way, but it's not working good, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 and 42. And then you just tie that off with a tail long enough to go around your brim. So what I like to do is I just measure twice as much. Then I know I'll have lots of thread to sew that on. All right, so find your outside or your inside. You're going to fold that around 
And what you want to do is you're going to tack these together. So I'm going to take my shortest end, which for me is the end I started with. And I'm just going to come up and down. Kind of in the middle. On this side. And then with my longer string that I'm going to use to sew around. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. So just make sure it's not twisted. Then you're going to come up. And then go back down in the middle somewhere. Not the same place you went with the other string because you want to tie those. Uh, okay. And then give them a tie. For now I'm going to leave my other end open just in case I want to tie it when I get back around with my stitching. So place your band on your hat. And you want your knots on the bottom and you want to kind of line it up um, on the, so let's see, one, two, three. So right here where you first started going on the um, front loops so that when the brim comes up, it's just kind of sitting right there. So just try and keep it kind of close to that line. I'm going to start by going down. Sorry, this I'm making this awkward and I'm not sure why. And you're just going to come back and forth you can go as long as you want on the underside but when you get to the top side that you're going to see just do over one stitch so you can skip like three or four stitches if you want and then just over one stitch. So I'm basically just tacking this on. Um, I'll let you decide how many stitches you want to go on the back side. So it will look like that, but it's not really going to be seen. So around one stitch on the front and then skip a couple in the back if you're skipping like me. Make sure your band is staying nice and straight. Feel like there's an easier way to do this but this camera is in my way if you are skipping a bunch of stitches don't pull that thread tight because you don't want to change the size of your hat and this hat should fit any pretty much any of the ones I have so far but if you are using um, the base pattern sitting or standing it will fit most of my heads are around between 30 and 42 stitches around whoops You know, another fun thing after I just did that, you could go around with a different color. So if you were doing a red one, you could do green around like I just did and make a big long one. So you'd have a nice little kind of green stripe in the middle. Right now we're 
back at the end and I'm just gonna, oh shoot, we could have been going like this the whole time. I'm just gonna come up and down where I joined just for one extra little bit of a stitch. And then we can tie these and cut them in the inside if we want. I'm make sure I'm not in the same stitch. I am in the same stitch somehow. Okay. Then I'm just going to tie those. And of course you can make your inside look a little prettier than mine does. Um, and you can weave those in or cut them. I'm going to just cut mine since it's just for the tutorial. Alright, we're going to start with a toque and I'm going to do this one in brown. Um, just because I'm running low on my gray with the sparkle and black does not work out good on film. So you can again start however you want. And I am going to start my way with the knot with the loop on the end. And we're going to be doing half double crochets. So this time when I go into my loop and pull up, I'm going to chain two. All right. So for a half double crochet, you're going to yarn. It's basically a single crochet, only you yarn over first. So yarn over into your loop, grab your yarn, pull up. You've got three loops instead of two, and then you just grab your yarn and go through all three. So this whole toque is half double crochets. So for row one, we're gonna do eight half double crochets into this loop. So we have one, yarn over into the loop, grab your yarn, grab your yarn again, and pull through. So there's two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull your tail if you need to. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. Keep in mind every row is half double crochet. And for row two, we're going to do eight half double crochet increases all the way around. So that's two stitches in every stitch for a total of 16. So increase half double crochet one and two. Half double crochet, increase, three and four. Half double crochet, increase, five and six. Half double crochet, increase, seven and eight. Half double crochet, increase, nine and 10, half double crochet increase, 11 and 12, half double crochet increase, 13 and 14, and the last half double crochet increase, 15 and 16. 
And I'm not going to say half double crochet anymore. Um, I'm just going to say increase and then count the single stitches as one, two, whatever. Okay. Round three, we're going to do one half double crochet and then one half double crochet increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So remember half double crochets, one, and then an increase, two, and three, four, and an increase, five, and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12. Whoops. 13, increase, 14 and 15. 16, increase, 17 and 18. 19, increase, 20 and 21. 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row four, we're going to do three half double crochets and then an increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row five, we're going to do four half double crochets, one half double crochet increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six. seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
and an increase, 17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row six, we're gonna do five half double crochets, one half double crochet increase, Repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. So one, two, three, four, five, and an increase, six and seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, and an increase, 20, and 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and an increase, 41 and 42. Row seven is just gonna be 42 half double crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. Rows eight and nine, we are going to be doing 42 front post, back post, half double crochets all the way around. So for the front post, remember because you're doing half double crochets, you're going to yarn over. Then you're going to come down and around the stitch instead of going under the loops right here. So from the front side. You're going to go around that post, grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn, and pull through again. For the back post, you're going to yarn over, and you're going to come in from the back side around this post or stitch. Grab your yarn, pull it all the way through, and up, and then go through your three loops. So let's do another front post, yarn over in the front and around that stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn, pull through again. Now we're going to go in the back for the back post, yarn over, come in the back side and around that stitch and out, grab your yarn, pull through and up. Grab your yarn and go through all three loops. I'm going to do a couple more, then I'm going to speed up. So yarn over. We're doing a front one. So in the front and around that post, grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn, pull through all three loops. And the back post, yarn over, come in the back, around that stitch and out. Grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn again, and go through all three of those loops. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit, and I'm just going to say front post, back post. So if you don't quite got it yet, go back and start and do these um, six front post and back post stitches. Or have a watch for the whole round. Sometimes going faster, it might make more sense. And then go back and try starting again. Okay, so we just finished our back post. So front post, half double crochet. Back post, half double crochet. Front post, half double crochet. Back post, half double crochet. Front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet. Oh, I cut a thread there. Front post, half double crochet, whoopsie, back post, half double crochet. Front post, Half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, front post, back post. Front post, 
that post. Front post. Back 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 post. Remember we were doing half, so yarn over. Front post. Back post. Front post. Back post. Front post. Back post. Front post. Back post. Oop, I'm going to do that one again. I did something funny. So back post again for me. Front post. And back post is my last stitch. And you'll start to see a little bit of a brim form forming. You can double check. It'll be really noticeable if you made a mistake and did two front posts or two back posts in a row. Mine looks okay, I think. Um, so we got to do another row of the front post, back post. But this time it'll be a little easier because you already have that bump showing. So um, it's a little easy to remember where you are. So we yarn over in the front post, back post, front post, and back post. So see you're starting to make little lines now as you're going front to back. So front post, remember half double crochet, so make sure you're yarning over, back post, front post, 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 back post. Front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. Front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. 
front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, Did I say back post? Now a front post. Back post. Front post. And your last back post. And then I just slip stitch into the next stitch because you can't really tell um, that you went in the rounds. And it all stays kind of even. And there you go. If you made it this far and you're happy with your hat, great job because that's not the easiest stitch to do and it's definitely not the easiest stitch to teach. And if you aren't happy with it or it's looser than you'd like, you can always take go back and restart. Watch the first four to six stitches and then maybe even mute me so you're not listening to me saying front post, back post when you're on a different stitch than I am. Um, but it's definitely worth learning because you can use this stitch on all kinds of little brims, sleeves, toques, whatever you're, you're deciding to make. So I'm just going to cut this so I can weave in the end. I'm going to get rid of my stitch marker. I'm just going to go on the inside now. So I'm flipping it out. And I'm just going to come down a few stitches. Actually, I'm going to come into my single crochets. Or my... Not my single crochets, my, uh, they're half double crochets, but where it's not front loop, back loop. And I'm just going to go back and forth there a few times, just because it's a little bit tighter of a stitch there. And don't pull it too tight because you do want it to have a little bit of stretch there. So just the natural tension. And just go back and forth two or three times. I'm going to do three. Pull it to make sure it's got some stretch to it. Then I'm just going to trim that off. And I'm going to trim this top off. I'm just going to make a little bit of a pom-pom type top to stitch on there. I'm just going to go around two fingers a couple of times. Cut that off. And I want to keep that middle pinched. And I'm going to tie another scrap of the same color evenly on both sides. Sorry, my hands are in the way, but. So just like that. So I got about the same amount on this side and the same amount on this side. And I'm just going to cut it, tie it a couple of times so it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to cut those ends on both sides. And the more um, times you wrapped around, 
the more little um, puffs you'll have, but it might be a little harder to um, tie around. So obviously, uh, most people probably have a better way to do this. So you do it however you prefer. I'm just doing a quick little one that's kind of floppy on top. Then I'm just going to go through a stitch. Maybe I'll find my back. I think yeah, right there is my back. So that I'm on the sides. So I'm going down that side. And then I'll take my other end and go on the opposite side. Which I should have wrapped it around, but... Just so that if it gets pulled on, it's snugly attached there. So there's your little pom-pom. I'm going to tie it. And then I'm just going to put these ends back out and they can just be one more little piece of the pom-pom after they're trimmed. So I'll just cut them evenly with the others. Okay, we're going to do the little holly leaves with the berry. And you're going to want to grab your green yarn with a little bit of a tail. You're going to make your knot with the loop on the end because we are going to be chaining. So insert your hook. And we're going to chain four. One, two, three, Four, and then starting in your second chain from the hook, we're going to do a single crochet and then two slip stitches. So single crochet. Next chain, a slip stitch. And then another slip stitch in the last chain. Now we're going to do another chain of three. One, two, three, and then in that second chain from the hook, you're going to do a single crochet. In the next chain, you're going to do a slip stitch. And then your very first starting chain, we're going to do a slip stitch. And we're going to repeat that again for our next little leaf. So chain three, one, two, three, and then in your second chain from the hook, you're going to do your single crochet. Next chain, you're going to do your slip stitch. And then again, in that first st starting chain, you're going to slip stitch. So you've got three little leaves and you're going to tie that off. Again, leaving a little bit of a tail to weave in. So grab your darning needles. And you're just going to go up into a leaf. Or petal. I'm just going to take both ends up into the middle one. And I'm basically just kind of tucking them in. I'm not actually going to weave them in. So just so they're not hanging out anywhere. Maybe I'll come down one too.
So make sure you're not pulling that too tight and then cut that end off. And do the same thing for the other one. Make sure you're on the same side. There's my little cut piece, so I know I'm on the same side. And I'm just going to come up the other side and then go up that middle again. And then back down somewhere. This was just kind of a last minute add, so I know it's not really a super fancy, but it just adds a little tiny bit of an accent. Originally, my snowman just had hats and scarves and the holly because I didn't think I had enough green in there. So that's how this little guy came about. All right, so you got your little leaves. Oops, here I've been calling it holly and I meant to call it mistletoe. But anyways, here's your little berry. You could make a red one if you want, but I figured I had enough red already. So we're just gonna be doing a couple single crochets into the loop. So you can start any way you want. So as long as you got your little loop with your magic circle or your chaining. So my way, I gotta get my yarn and do my chain one. And I'm just gonna put three single crochets into the loop. One. I don't know if it matters if you go over that or not. I guess so. Two. And three. And then I'm just gonna join into that first stitch I made. And tie off and you're going to be sewing everything together with this piece so leave yourself a bit of a tail. And I'm going to turn mine the right side here. Yeah, That's why I never make little tiny things. There we go. And I'm just going to cut off my beginning tail. Thread that on. And I already have mine on my um, top hat. So I'm going to sew this one onto the um, toque. But if you just need to have a look, I just kind of put it on the top hat, just kind of right in the band right there. So I find my back and then I'm just going to put it kind of about, I don't know, right here. So I'm going to add my leaves and then I'm just going to start going in and out. Taking one or two stitches off my hat. Come up and grab a stitch on my berry. Go back down in another stitch of my berry through my leaf into my hat. Grabbing another stitch nice and close underneath. Just we don't want to see this white string. Then I can come back up through my leaf and another stitch of my berry. And that's all I'm going to do. You can um, reinforce it a little more. So I'm just going to go down in my next stitch and tie that off on the inside. And 
I'm going to tie it twice. I'm just going to take my end up my white part and cut it. Nice and close. Of course, you can do a better job than I'm doing. Okay. And there we have our little hats with the berries on them. All right, now we're going to do the cape. Um, make your knot with the loop on the end, leaving a little bit of a uh, tail. We should be crocheting over that, but just in case it gets missed, you'll have a little bit to weave in. So insert your hook. And we are going to chain 35. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Now for row one, starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to be doing 34 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and as you're doing this, make sure your chain is not twisting on you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and then our last chain, 34. And then you're going to chain one and turn. Row two, we're going to do another row of 34 single crochets. So starting in this first stitch, one, whoops, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, whoops. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and in that last stitch, making sure you're getting under both sides of that V, 34. Um, chain one and turn. Okay, the rest of the rows are all going to be half double crochets until we get to the border. And if you've never done one before, it's basically a single crochet, only you wrap your yarn over first before going into the stitch. So for a half double crochet, it's yarn over into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through. You'll have three loops on your hook, grab your yarn, and pull through all three loops. And there's your half double crochet. So for row three, we're gonna do a half double crochet increase. We're gonna do 32 sing half double crochets across, and then a half double crochet increase at the end. So for our increase, we already have one. So let's put our second stitch into that same stitch. And now we're going to do 32 half double crochets across. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, you're wrapping your yarn over before you go in. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, whoops, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and then our half double crochet increase in the end. So one half double crochet and a second half double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one and turn. Row four, we're gonna do one half double crochet increase, 34 half double crochets across, and then one half double crochet in, increase in the end. So increase, 
one and two half double crochets in the same stitch and now 34 half double crochets across one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty whoops that was thirty two Oh my goodness, 33 and 34, and then a half double crochet increase in that last stitch. So one and two half double crochets in the same stitch, chain one and turn. Row five, we're gonna do a half double crochet increase. 36 half double crochets across and then a half double crochet increase at the end. So increase one and two in the same stitch. 36 half double crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, oops, catching on something, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, oh my goodness, why does this keep happening? 22, I believe, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and then your increase in that last stitch. 
one half double crochet and two half double crochets in the same stitch. Chain one and turn. Row six, we're just gonna do 40 half double crochets across. So starting in that first stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty in the last stitch. Now, if you're going to be changing um, the color, so there's a little border around the edge, I'm going to do something a little bit different and we're going to start in the back. Um, if you do not want to put a different colored border on, you're just going to start right here with a chain one. And then you're going to go all the way around with single crochets and then tie off when you get back to the where you started. So I'm going to put the border on. So I'm just going to slip stitch right here and tie off leaving a little bit of a tail that we will hopefully remember to go over. And then grab your other color and I will join you right back to do the border. All right, so grab your border color and you're just gonna make a loop with a knot, a little bit of a tail that we will go over. Figure out which side is your right side or your wrong side. And I'm going to go um, this way. So, wait a second. so yeah, so I'm going to have it facing. So the widest part is away from me. And then I'm going to be going across like this. So insert your hook somewhere close to the middle. Doesn't really matter where. You're going to attach your yarn with a chain and then starting in that same stitch you're going to do a single crochet and now you're just going to single crochet all the way around and notice i'm going over my tail so try and remember to do that There we 
I just dropped my tail or one more stitch and I'm going to drop it. And then as you get to the corner, I didn't um, do any increases, but I did notice that my little flap kind of wants to bend in. So on this one, I'm going to make sure I put three single crochets into my corner. And then as we go up, we want to put about three stitches for every two rows of single crochets. So in between these lines, you want three single crochets three single crochets and then two or three, probably three at the very top where you single crocheted. So my corner is one, two, and three for that first set of two half double crochets. Now I'm going to do um, three again between these two lines. One, two, three, and then three or two here. Um, I think it's going to be two. For some reason, it's usually two on one side and three on the other. And you're going over this knot. And again, um, I'm going to put three in that corner stitch. and then continue across the top and I'm going over that tail. And I'm just going in every stitch. So this would be the back side of your um, first chain you made. Okay, we're coming up to this other corner. And remember we put if you put three in the other side, put three in this side. And then I want two more. And then we're gonna do our three and three. Actually only two fit in there, so maybe I was a little off on my counting on the other side. Whoops. As you're going, you want to kind of make sure you're going in the same depth. See, I was going to catch a different stitch there. But, um, so all my stitches are kind of the same size here, but that stitch would have been ended way up here. Okay, going over my other tail and putting three in this corner. 
And then now we'll just single crochet till we get where we attached our new color. And again, I'm just going in every stitch. And I'm back around to where I started. So I am just going to slip stitch into that first stitch I made and then tie off. So we will have to weave this end in. Um, so grab your darning needle. And you'll want to um, put that in on whatever you have deemed the inside. So I'm just going to go up a little bit. And I'm going to keep this in the red just so it doesn't show. I'm going to go a couple stitches this way and then I'm going to go a couple stitches past my knot the other way. cut it off and now we just have the tie left so I have the wrong side facing me I'm gonna grab a little um, chunk of my border color um, I don't know if it matters if it's border color or not it might stand out better if it was cape color but if you did do the cape all one color It'd probably be nice to do like match the hat on the tie. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go all the way through on the top and I want to leave a tying end on this side and a tying end on this side. So I'm going to start over here on one of my corner stitches. Maybe that one. And I'm just going under all of my red single crochets or edging or whatever color you used. Leave a good chunk on this side. And then just keep going. I'm not weaving in and out of any stitches or anything. I'm just going underneath all the single crochets. What we're going to be doing is kind of measuring around the neck and then kind of pulling it tight to the size of the neck and then we're going to knot it on each end so it stays that size. And then we need to leave a place to tie on both ends. If you guys are doing this one, 
particularly. I, I'd like to say thank you and appreciate for choosing it because I had a really, really hard time trying to cuten up this version of my snowman. I don't know why, but I'm just not getting the cuteness out I was hoping for. Okay, so I want to kind of have the same amount on each side. I'm just going to fold it in half and kind of just kind of position it so it's the same on both sides. If you have lots of extra, this isn't quite as important. And then what you want to do is get it on your snowman and kind of see where you want um, the neckline of this to be. So I'm just going to be pulling it. So probably about there. You want to make sure it still closes and it's not super, super tight. So there's a little give there. And I think about right there is where I want it. So kind of just let that stay where it is. And then you, what you want to do is you, without pulling this at all, so it stays the right um, length underneath, you're going to just tie a knot on each end of these. And I'm going to go, ooh, where do I want to go? So I'm underneath a good section of yarn so that when I do tie these, I'm not pulling it so there's a big hole there. And then tie your knot without pulling too hard on the rest. Now I'm going to just get another little piece and tie again. Oops, sorry, I wasn't in the camera. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Kind of try and make sure you're in the same spot as you would have been when you did the other one. And then one more time. And then when you put it on, all you need to do is tie your little bow. For some reason when I tie a bow, it's always upside down. So then I got to flip it around. And then kind of make it nicer. So I pull it till it's almost disappeared. And then I give it a nice little tug. And if this is going to be staying on more secure, just make it like a more knot or whatever. So there we go. And then I'm just going to cut mine about the length of the cape. Just so that if you are removing it and putting it back on, you have enough string there to tie your little bow.
Okay, we're going to start the vest now. So we're going to make our knot with the loop on the end because we're going to be chaining. But leave yourself a little bit of a tail. We should be going over it, but just in case it gets missed, you'll have enough to weave in at the end. All right, so insert your hook. And we are going to be chaining 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27. Row one, starting in the second chain from the hook, we are gonna do 26 single crochets across. One, two, three, four, Five, make sure your chain is not twisting. Six, seven, eight, nine, see, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and our last one, 26. Chain one and turn. Row two, we're gonna do four single crochets. We're gonna chain four, skip four, do 10 single crochets, chain four, skip four, and then do four single crochets. So starting in this first stitch, four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna skip four one, two, three, four, and go into that fifth one. And we're gonna do 10 single crochets. So finish that one off for one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do four chains one, two, three, four. We're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in that fifth one. And we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn. Okay, for the rest of the um, vest, we're gonna be doing half double crochets till we get to the edging going around. 
Um, and for a half double crochet, it's basically a single crochet, only you yarn over first before you go into your stitch. So yarn over into your first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through. You've got your three loops on your hook, grab your yarn and pull through. So that's your first half double crochet. Um, so for row three, we're going to do a half double crochet increase. Um, and then we'll have 24 half double crochets across and then a half double crochet increase at the end. But I am going to break this down a little differently. So we have the right amounts um, in the arms and backs and sides. So our first half double crochet increase, we have one stitch. So we need our second one in the same stitch. And then we're going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And then we're going to do four half double crochets around this chain. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to be starting in this stitch right here. And we should have, I think, 10 half double crochets across the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten in that last one. Now we're going to do four half double crochets across around the chain. One, two, three, four. Now starting in this next stitch, you're going to do three half double crochets across. One, two, three, whoops, didn't catch it. Three, and then our um, half double crochet increase at the end. So one half double crochet and two half double crochets in the same stitch. Chain one and turn. Row four, we're going to do a half double crochet increase, 26 half double crochets, and then a half double crochet increase in the last stitch. So half double crochet increase, one and two in the same stitch, and 26 half double crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Ah! Oh, that scared me. 
23. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. That's the hazards, I guess, of using your phone as your video camera. So I was on 23. 24. 25, 26, and an increase in that last stitch. So one half double crochet, two half double crochets in the same stitch, and chain one and turn. Row five, we're going to do an increase. 28 half double crochets across and then an increase at the end. So increase one and two half double crochets in the first stitch. Now we're going to do 28 half double crochets across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, I'm not under both, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and then an increase in that last stitch. So one and two half double crochets in the same stitch. Chain one and turn. Row six, we're just gonna do 32 half double crochets across the bottom. One, two, what's happening here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 and 32 in that last stitch. 
and we're gonna what are we gonna do um, I think I chain one when I get to the end here um, so now we're going to just do single crochets all the way around um, I stopped at three sides and I didn't go around the bottom but if you want it a little longer you can either do a single crochet along the bottom and then tie off at the end or you can do another row of half double crochets okay so I'm gonna put three single crochets three single crochets and three single crochets is my plan in between each of these lines so in the corner I'm gonna do three whoops and then I'm gonna do one more on this side of that line and then I need to do three between these two lines one two three And then I'm going to try and fit three here, but I'm only putting one in the corner, so it's more of a um, angle instead of a corner at the top of the vest. So one, two, three. And then now I'm going to go straight to the top. So we're in the back side of those. Um, chains when you first started and you're just going to go in every stitch all the way across oh, maybe while I'm doing this I'll just remind you that in the description below I have some links so my Facebook craft page is, I think, at the top. If you want to go over there and share anything with me that you have made, there is a post pinned at the top of the page that uh, says YouTube Share. If you click on that, you can open that up and comment with a photo or whatever. Um, there's also a TikTok link in there that um, I'm trying to be a little better at using so now we're at the corner here remember we only put one stitch on the other side we want to make sure we only do one stitch on this side and go over our tail and I do also have a um, Instagram page but I very rarely use it for anything other than reposting TikTok videos so we want to have two more stitches on this side. For some reason I have a another stitch that's going in there. So I'm doing three. Now we want to have three between the two lines here. And on the other side I did one and then three in the corner. So that's what I'm going to try and do on this side. One and then three in the corner. Whoopsie, that tail is in my way. Then I'm going to chain one only because I did on the other side and then slip stitch in the next stitch. Um, now after your three if you're continuing around you just don't slip stitch till you get to the other side so i'm going to tie off there leave enough to weave in um anything else i'm gonna cut that that is bugging me Thread your needle. Now, 
decide which side you're right side and wrong side. I always like to go where the V's are kind of facing me more. And I can see the right side of the stitches that were facing me. So my back is this way. I'm just going to go in here. Up a row or two. Try not to have a little dent in there. And then I'm just going to weave in and out on this row a bit. And then just make sure when you put it on that your inside is on the inside. Alrighty, well there is our two little snowmen. Thanks for watching and don't forget if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And as always, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.